Yes, yes, yes. It is Monday. I'm so dang tired from driving. Working every day is a little bit taxing. It's nice to sit out on my deck. Last night, my wife and I had that time, which was great. You know, a little bit of a fire thing that we have, fire table, and just enjoying the quiet of the evening and sitting there marveling at God's creation. You know, because this is God's creation that we're living on right now, too. You know, of all the lies and deceptions and worldly shit and all the craziness, when you can actually sit there and enjoy an evening and um, enjoy the quiet time that you have and just uh, relax and be at peace. That is the most beautiful part of this experience. And we are to lead a mild and quiet life in all devoutness and gravity. This is not fighting against the powers that be and this is not fighting against other human beings or fighting flesh and blood. This is relaxing and realizing God is operating all in accord with the counsel of his will. It's none of us, none of it. <clears throat> and I could care less. We're in this world and not of it. We're not part of this world. So why fight against it? This is God's mandate. He brings it about in the absolute sense. You know, he's operating it. So he scripted it. So why fight against it? There's no fighting. When it comes to a member of the body of Christ and a true member of the body of Christ and a believer, we're not to be fighting um, with each other or with the world around us, period. And I don't care who studies what or what studies who and everybody's opinion, da-da-da, each are given a measure of faith by God. That measure is used by God in a believer to herald what they herald and to do what they do. God has placed me to do videos here on this YouTube channel. So I do them every day. Um, even though some days I don't feel like doing them. Some days I'm all over the place in my brain and my, but God brings it together. And uh, it's his words that come through each one of us that are important. Not our own opinions on this or that. Not our own surmising of what's happening. You know, trust in the Word of God and be a living, breathing Word of God. This is what we are as believers, living, breathing words of God. We're given the measure, and this is what we're given to give out, heralding it opportunely, inopportunely. This is the whole point. Um, I like sharing. I like reading. Um, I love reading. Uh, I have so much reading material, and this is why I share what I share. It's mostly from the Concordant Publishing Concern because that there, to me, is sound teaching. Sound teaching. When you look at it from the concordantly translated scriptures and everything that's involved, um, this is where I started. And this is what I continue with. I stand in Christ this way. I stand in the Lord this way. All the other afflictions and the, and the wicked realm that pressures us... Um, we can still be at peace because we know we're protected by God. We have the love of Christ. We have the love of God in us. Um, nothing can separate us from the love of God in Christ Jesus our Lord. Nothing. Absolutely nothing. No one's opinion of us. No one's idea of this or that is going to separate us from the love of God in Christ. We have a celestial calling, not a terrestrial one. That's for Israel. Um, we will have access to the whole in Christ. So... Why panic or worry about that? There's nothing to worry about. Absolutely nothing to worry about. We can rejoice in affliction. We can rejoice, rejoice in suffering from an absolute perspective. Maybe not a relative one. Because a lot of us that go through a lot of the shit that we go through, it's not fun. You know, mentally, physically, circumstances, life, deal, whatever it is. Relatively, a lot of it sucks. In fact, most of it does, but it's a necessary training ground that God has used for us as believers, especially now as believers. Yes, that's what especially a believers mean. We're not any different than any other human being on this planet, except for that we've been giving it, given it early, given it beforehand, chosen in Christ before the disruption, 
meaning that we had it already. We just realized our calling during this lifetime, and that's just what we're doing. We're realizing our calling. We're being saved. It's active, meaning we're already in the process of being completed in Christ. The rest will come in later. Yes, they will. I can look at everybody here in this parking lot, in vehicles, in stores, whatever. I don't know what they believe. I don't know what God has given them. He's, he's locked up most in stubbornness. When does he bring a true believer to you? When he decides. When he decides to give you someone to share the evangel with, you're going to share it with them. You're going to share, the, share with them that God loves them. That God is already at peace with them. Uh, this is the whole point. We're here to herald that message and walk it and breathe it. Those opportunities come, come or they don't. And that's what means opportunity in opportunity. If we're in, put in a position to share something, we're going to share it. So that's what I mean. Opportunity in opportunity. You know, a lot of times we're placed in a position where we don't want to do anything or say anything. But God gives us the words and we, sh we shout them out from inside of us. This is the spirit operating. The spirit of God that operates. So why are we wrapped up with the world affairs of what this all is here? You know, I'm not dragged down by it. I'm not bogged down by it anymore, it seems. It just seems like I'm being lifted out in the sense of already being extricated out in spirit. Because right now, in spirit, we're next to God in Christ. Physically, we're not. But spiritually, we are already there. It's already done. It's been done long ago, right from the get-go, when we were chosen in Christ. It's amazing stuff. Um, so, yeah, I continue on, and Lord willing, I always say Lord willing, you know, every day will go the way God has it, and it's according to his will, and this is it, Lord willing. You go out every day. For myself, I do it. Lord willing, this day goes how he would have it go. Yesterday, I got frustrated. They gave me a delivery, and I couldn't park anywhere. It was a main road. I'll just tell you an example of a story of me getting frustrated in my human self and just flipping out. I was flipping out because, like, the order was A&W, right? Restaurant, took it in. Mind you, they didn't give me the kilometers for gas, stuff like that. But it was a main road. You couldn't park there. There was no parking whatsoever. And I was trying to get this delivered to the person. I guess that was the frustrating part because I'd really like to be consistent and giving people their food on time. And this address was stupid. I couldn't find it. And it was just like, okay, where is this place? I know it's in a complex and all that other stuff. I couldn't cross the road. There was no really crossing area. It was a bridge you could get across the road to get on the other side. So eventually I had to park in a bus zone in order to deliver it. But I got out of my car, ran with the bag, got it to the, to the door, and I'm just like, what the hell was that? Uh, so yeah, there's an example of a frustrating moment, you know, and we all have them. <clears throat> We just want to curse and flip out and da 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 da. Not so much that I was cursing at anything but my own shit and not being able to do something, or my own inability, like something. You know, we can we can do that, but we also realize in in our hearts and our minds, and we have that that God is operating at all. So frustrating experiences are important to teach us patience. How would we learn patience? How would we learn anything? How would we receive and we receive the fruit of the Spirit, which is one fruit consisting of seven elements or nine elements? What is it? I can't remember the whole deal. Love, patience, joy, uh, meekness, kindness. Okay, you, you name them off. But anyway, it's one fruit consisting of all the elements. Um, this is what comes out and this is the results of our walk in the Lord and our experiences that God would grace us with this fruit of the spirit and patience is one of them so we learn through experience amazing stuff I know I'm rambling on this morning but I'm just chatting with you uh, it's like having fellowship think of it that way 
So cheers from Canada. Have a beautiful Monday. Grace and peace.